What's good, Teacups? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Tiana G, aka T. Welcome to Cooking with T. Today, I am going to be preparing two of the very first soul food side dishes my grandmother ever taught me how to make. Did y'all really think I was gonna go the whole Black Future Month without preparing some soul food for y'all? I really hope you didn't. I really hope you didn't. Today, we are going to be making a candy yam and a southern fried cabbage. My grandmother did not teach me how to make this the vegan way, but I'm teaching y'all how to make it the vegan way, okay? The recipes are gonna be down below in the deep, but before we get into it, make sure you guys are tapped and subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get into it. All right, so in candied yam land, we have some sugar. We have brown and white sugar. We have some sweet potatoes. We have some vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, vegan butter, some salt. We got cabbage land over here, and we got a little bit of onions, garlic, and a blend of spices. Let's get it. So I wanna start off by getting this pan here hot first. We're gonna do these at the same time. I'm gonna just bring this up to heat and then I'm gonna get this one up to heat as well. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and add in some of the sweet potatoes to the bottom of this pan here. So layering the sweet potatoes with the spices and everything really helps candy them actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the first layer of sweet potatoes. So after you add in the bottom layer of sweet potatoes, I'm just taking the brown and the white sugar and I'm mixing them up because I like to use a blend of sugars. So then we're gonna go ahead and add some sugar to this layer. And then I'm gonna take our cinnamon and nutmeg and mix those up as well. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some of the spices all the way around. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in a pinch of salt and I'm gonna repeat the layering process. I think that looks about good to me. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in our vanilla. All right, so here is the major key. This amount of water is the major key to getting these yams actually candied because sweet potatoes have their own water in them. They hold lots of water, them being a very dense vegetable. So I've seen people add lots of water, but the trick is to really just add about a tablespoon and the sweet potatoes release all of their own water. And then we're gonna go ahead and crack it and steam it. We're not gonna cover this all the way. You just wanna steam the potatoes so that they cook through. We're gonna release some of the um, heat from them so that they candy and there's not too much water, um, you know, going on in, up in here. So that's on a low, a medium low heat. So now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these over just so that way you guys can see what's going on in this pan. This is gonna be doing its thing back here. This right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some olive oil. Generous amount of olive oil because it is fried cabbage technically, so you wanna go ahead and add the perfect amount of olive oil. In here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some onions and garlic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my blend of spices right with the oil so we can get them to bloom a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. So you really wanna make sure you're seasoning the cabbage because cabbage can take lots of seasoning and it smells really, really bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in our cabbage now. Add a, just a tiny bit more oil. And I'm also going to add in some salt as well. Add some black pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and check on our yams here. They look really good so far. Mix this up a tad bit. So the mixture of spices that I added into here are pretty much spices that um, would kind of mimic the nice smokiness that you would get from adding like bacon or fat back into your cabbage. My grandmother usually uses fat back um, or, or ham hocks or sometimes smoked turkey. So when I, when I go for that cabbage, I want that smokiness. So I have some smoked paprika in here as well as a bunch of other really, really bomb spices that are gonna be down below in the deep. I'm just cooking the first amount of cabbage down because I wanna make sure that I have room to add in the rest of the cabbage. So I'm gonna go ahead and kinda of layer the cabbage out. So now we have all of our cabbage in here. So I wanted you guys to check out what the candy yam situation looks like. This 
is how candy yams are supposed to look, okay? They're supposed to be candy. They're not supposed to be smothered in water or drowning in water at all. You want them to be candy, hence candy yams. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure everything is kind of like evenly up in some greatness. Now that I can see that we have some caramelization going on with our sugars, I'm going to go ahead and completely cover this so that way the potatoes can cook all the way through. This cabbage smells so good right now. All right, so I'm letting this continue to fry and do its thing. Okay, y'all. So as you can see, the cabbage has cooked down some. I personally like some bite to my cabbage. I just love textures in my food. So I'm going to let this rock for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to cut the heat off and let it hang out in the back while our candy yams are doing their thing. I do a little switcheroo again, keep y'all updated on the candy, candy yams. Oh, goodness gracious. Yes, yes, yes. So as you can see, we have the bottom piece that's getting nice and caramelized, which I'm totally looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and start to flip those over, all the bottom uh, candy yams. Show them some love. And yeah, we're gonna flip these over and then whichever pieces that you think uh, are not really getting all that candy coat in this, make sure you uh, do a little switcheroo and probably replace it. You know, make sure they all get some love, all I'm trying to say. Oh man, this smells so good right now. This smells incredible. So that's gonna continue the candy. I'm gonna pop the lid on again and We'll check it out in a second. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yes. Okay. 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 This is what candy yams. When I'm talking about yams, if they ain't candy like this, please don't invite me to the party. I'm not pulling up. I'm asking for photos of the yams before I arrive. And that's just that on that. All right. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, my loves, now is the time for me to go ahead and add in some of our vegan butter to the mix. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a few tablespoons to start. Now I am able to, oh my gosh, look at that. I'm able to kind of just uh, flip the yams over, you know, make sure everything's nice and candied. I can turn my heat off now. Let that butter just melt up in there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle just a teensy bit of salt on top of these. There we go. Candy yams. It has to have some kind of syrup on it, you know? It has to have like, yes, it has to have that. That's exactly what it needs. All right, we ready. That was easy, right? That was so easy. Our candy yams look absolutely gorgeous. I wanna show y'all our gorgeous cabbage as well. Stunning. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's get it. I'm gonna take a little bowl, you know the vibes. I'm gonna plate up some of our cabbage. I wanna show y'all what it's gonna look like. It's a good amount of cabbage, I like that. Then we're gonna take our beautiful, beautiful. Look at that, it's just dripping. That looks sexy, sexy. Absolutely just ready. That looks so good. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more up on there. You know, I ain't had candy yams since the holidays, so let me just bless myself for a second. Let's get into it. She's gorgeous, she's sexy, she's candied, caramelized, fried, steamed, spiced. Come on now. And it's vegan. Please and thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. Never stressed. Let's get it. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm excited AF right now. You know what I'm gonna bite first, right? Candy yam. Um, hello? Mm. Mm. This should be illegal. You know what? 
Shout out to my ancestors. Shout out to my people. Listen, we know how to cook some food and we know how to eat some food. I'll tell you that much. Let's hit this cabbage. See what this cabbage hit info. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's banging as well. Spices on fleek texture. I'm very textural when it comes to my food. My grandmother usually makes her cabbage more like really, really, really cooked out. So it's like almost like a mush. <laughs> but it's still fire. This actually slaps. That smoked paprika really does it. Really, really does it. Nice chili flake, add some heat. We got that onion powder, garlic powder, little all-purpose seasoning in there. Mm-hmm. Little cayenne for a little throat kick. This is gas. One more time for the one time. That'll do it. That'll do it. You do not have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. Ain't that how it go? Mm. So the candy yams, they have a very nice caramelized sticky outer layer to them and it's like tacky in my teeth and I love that. I love that. That's how you know they're like extremely candy. The spices are perfect. I mean, nutmeg, cinnamon, come on. Brown sugar, you know, a little brown sugar. You know, a little vanilla in the mix. This is so good. It's making me act all wild. That's how good it is. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed two of my favorite vegan soul food side dishes. The recipe is going to be down below in the deets. Make sure you guys tap in. Shout out to us. Shout out to our ancestors. Shout out to our bloodline and our family. Uh, we are amazing. We are beautiful. We are blessed and we are gifted. Okay. And on that note, I'm going to go be blessed and gifted on my couch and finish this food because, you know, I think we deserve that much. <laughs> All right. Until next time, peace, love, and blessings.